Hey guys, it's your girl Karen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Goddess of Whispers. It's your girl Karen and I am excited to welcome my Virgos back to my channel. I do want to let you know this is a general reading, so this reading may not resonate with all my Virgos. This reading, if it does resonate with you, please take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also, the roles in my readings may reverse, so apply yourself as you see fit. All right, my Virgos, this is going to be your love reading from September 1st to September 15, 2020. So the first half of September, we're going to dive in. We're going to look into your um, recent past, your present, and then we're going to look into your immediate future. We're going to get some overall energy here, and then we are going to get some advice and also dive in with some love messages and end out with some messages from the Moonology Oracle deck, okay? I think I flipped something here, so I want to turn it over. Ooh, two of cups. So someone might have something coming in here, my Virgos. But let's dive in and see. Spirits, what messages do you have for my Virgos for the first half of September 2020? What are the messages that they need to know? What are the messages that need to resonate with my Virgos for the first half of September 2020? All right, guys, let's dive in. Okay, for the recent past, we have here this Ace of Cups. Okay, so there's some love here. Or someone came in and offered you love. Let's find out. Let's dig a little bit deeper. We have the Six of Cups. So someone here could have been reminiscing on the past or, um, you know, wanting to offer love or maybe even reminiscing on a, on the in their past childhood. We have the Six of Pentacles here. So someone here um, may want to restore balance to the situation. So someone here, it looks like to me, but we need to clarify further, you know, is reminiscent on the love that they had in a past relationship. Um, I feel like with the Six of Pentacles being here as well, that this could have been a situation where someone um, needed to either A, bring balance back to a situation or you know, someone wants to give more or maybe someone wants someone else to give more to the situation. What's going on presently? Okay, we have the Eight of Cups. So this means that someone walked away from a situation. We have the Four of Swords as, as well. So someone is in a resting mode. Someone is focusing on themselves presently and self-love. So something transpired here in the past um, that's caused you to be in this position. Ooh, we have the Three of Swords. So someone here is definitely mourning a loss. At the bottom of the deck, we also have the Knight of Swords. So someone here could be wanting to move towards a situation or someone here wants to, um, you know, move from a situation, running from it or moving towards it. Um, but we're going to dig deeper and find out. With the Knight of Swords, this kind of like reminds me also too of like a player-like energy. But we're going to dig in and find out exactly what is going on here, uh, my Virgos. What is going on here in the immediate future for my Virgos? Ooh, that flew out. We have the Queen of Pentacles. All right, let's clarify again. We have the moon, okay? So someone here is deep in their head. Ooh, we have the Seven of Swords. So some type of deception happened here. But someone is very guarded. Someone's very protective of their energy. I feel like someone here is focused on themselves. Hmm. I feel like, you know, with the moon card being here also, I feel like someone needs to make a decision about something. I feel like, you know, someone feels like they're drowning here. I feel like this was not easy for someone to do. This was not an easy situation, you know, for someone to walk away from. What's the overall energy? We have the King of Pentacles. So this could mean that someone is seeking stability in this situation or someone wants to bring stability in this situation. Or it could even mean someone is just very highly focused on themselves and their coin. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands. So this situation can be very burdening to someone or someone is choosing to walk away. Or it could even mean someone is having a very hard time letting go. You know, they would rather carry this burden or carry this this pain, you know, to try and make something work then rather than to let it go and um, release that energy from their lives. 
let's find out what's going on here this is a very intense reading so far what is going on with my virgos Ooh, let's dive in so the end of the ace of cups here what is the ace of cups here clarify the ace of cups for my virgos in the um, recent past clarify the ace of cups for my virgos in the recent past okay so someone here needs to make a decision or someone made a decision when it came to expressing themselves in loves you know ace of cups is all about new romance you know it's about um happiness relationships marriage proposals so someone made a decision here when it comes to love you know but we need to clarify further you know at the bottom of the deck we have the three of swords so maybe someone was broke was heartbroken here we have the three of swords here as, as well in the recent past so i feel like this was a very detrimental situation i feel like this connection was very very deep very very rare i feel like this connection you know wasn't an easy decision to make you know with the eight of cups here in the present i always say this when i get the eight of cups and is because it makes me feel as though this connection was so deep so passionate so pure you know that when it came time to walk away from this decision from this connection it wasn't an easy decision to make i feel like this situation brought you to your knees i feel like this situation made you question if you deserve love i feel like this situation not only made you question if you deserve love this situation made you question you know yourself your 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 existence on a whole you know i feel like this was very deep rooted for you um let's go ahead and clarify the six of cups why is the six of cups here Ooh, that flew out we have strength so I'm feeling like someone needs the strength to move forward or someone needs strength to let go of um, the past, you know, clarifying the six of cups here. I feel like someone is is very lost into, you know, all the happiness that has transpired. But I feel like someone is still in shock or can't believe what has transpired let's clarify the six of pentacles that's what's got me very um you know questionable here as to what is going on you know why is the six of pentacles here clarify the six of pentacles please clarify the six of pentacles for my virgos why is the six of pentacles here clarify. thank you so much so we have the three of pentacles clarifying the six of pentacles so I'm feeling, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. So I, I just said this. This was a very, very painful ending. This was something that has transpired that may have come upon, come about unexpectedly. I feel like this was a situation that left you lifeless. You know, I felt like this was a, you, you, you thought this was your forever uh, moment and or this was your forever person and I feel like this made you feel lost I feel like this made you feel you know like you didn't deserve to be loved anymore like from anyone you know we have the three of pentacles here clarifying the six of pentacles and I feel like for for whatever situation I feel like this was someone giving more to the relationship than the other you know when we have the six of pentacles here and the um the three of um the three of pentacles i feel like someone here did not want to give up but i also feel like someone here was putting in more in the relationship than the other i feel like this person could have possibly even put you into a third party situation i feel like i'm seeing that a lot with a, a, a lot of my connections but this is what the cards are reading i feel like you know there's been a lot of heartache you know we are in a time right now where people don't value people like they used to you know i feel like you know 
everyone's just looking for the next best thing, you know, in certain situations. This doesn't apply to everyone, but I feel like, you know, everyone's just going through it, you know, in these relationships. And I feel like people are finding it harder to trust today than they did before. Let's clarify the Eight of Cups. What's going on presently for my Virgos? Clarify the Eight of Cups for me, please, for my Virgos. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Clarify the Eight of Cups. Thank you so much. Yep. It's so funny. We got the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like here there was an imbalance in the relationship. And, you know, we have the Six of Pentacles here clarified by the Three of Pentacles. Then we have the Six of Pentacles here again clarifying the Eight of Cups. So this is letting me know that you walked away from the situation because there was an imbalance in the situation. I think you took time away after this to focus on yourself. I feel like this person was probably taken and taken and taken from you. Or, you, you know, you feel like you was just you were doing too much. And this person wasn't reciprocating back the same energy that you were putting into this relationship. And this hurt you. I mean, this hurt you to the core. This was not an easy decision to make, um, but it's a decision you had to make for yourself. Hence why we have the four swords here at the bottom of the deck. You took time for self-love. Okay, you took time to reflect on you, and I think that was probably the best decision you could have ever made in your in, in when it comes to this connection. We have the nine of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. So this could be you taking time to focus on your, your finances, your money. Um, but this is someone who is very self-sufficient, you know, very independent. And I feel like you took time to um, self-reflect on the things that made you happy outside of this connection. Let's clarify the four of swords. Why is the four of swords here? Clarify the four of swords for my Virgos. Why is the four of swords here? Clarify the four of swords for my Virgos. Thank you so much. Yep. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. So you walked away from this love. You walked away from this passionate connection. You know, and that's what I feel when I see the um, Knight of Cups here in reverse. This is letting me know that, you know, this was a, um, a romance that, you know, had to come to an end. You know, for your for the betterment of yourself. And that's what I'm gathering here. I'm feeling like... Something transpired here very deeply, and you had to walk away from, from this connection. Um, let's go ahead and clarify the three of um, swords here. But it's funny because we have the eight of cups here, and then the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck. And, and what I'm gathering here, like I said, this was not an easy decision to make, but you had to do what's best for you. Let's go ahead and clarify the three of swords. Why is the three of swords here? Clarify the three of swords, please. Clarify the three of swords. Why is the three of swords here? Okay. Thank you so much. Mm, wow. We have the four of wands in reverse. Okay. Clarifying the three of swords. You cannot make this stuff up. With the four of wands here in reverse, this is letting me know this is someone, you know, leaving a happy home this is someone moving out this is this is arguments this is someone not happy in their current situation so this is the spirits telling you that you left because this person broke this connection this broke up this happy home you know um at the bottom of the deck we have the ten of cups and i feel like the ten of cups is here because they broke up what you guys planned together they this is something you envisioned probably all of your life. And this person made you feel like this is what you were going to, you know, receive in this connection. But, you know, it turned out not to, it turned out all to be a lie. You know, this person was not being truthful with you. And it caused you to dig deep, really deep to bring strength to um, yourself you know, you had to find a way to dig yourself out of, you know, rely, being reliant on this connection. You know, this could even be a codependent situation here, but I feel like this was not easy. You know, I'm, I'm feeling this was a very heavy, you know, situation. Let's go ahead and clarify further. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here in the immediate future? Why is the Queen of Pentacles? Ooh, we have a lot of cards here. All right, why is the queen, oh, see the moon flipped out. 
you know so something's telling me some somebody brought deception we have the moon here twice but the moon so happened to flip out okay uh, but that flipped out with multiple cards. So we're going to go ahead and, and um, shuffle and clarify. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Because there was some type of deception here. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Or someone became more aware of, of, of something, you know. But there was definitely an imbalance in this connection. Except for the Queen of Pentacles for my Virgos. Well, we got way too many cards. But I'm going to take them all. We have the Devil. We have the Two of... Um, the two of pentacles and then we have the five of cups yep because here's what's transpiring here we have the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles is all about someone who is very independent very a boss but this is also someone who's very intuitive this is someone who is very um you know um how do you say it very supportive when it comes very nurturing when it comes to situations but then we have the devil card here there was some type of um addiction here or manipulation here that transpired in this situation it could even mean cheat cheating secrets obsessions abuse you know um sexual addi addictions for some you know but someone here was juggling um you in this situation and i feel like you know this has caused you to be in this mode but this has also been a heartbreaking situation the five of cups is all about someone who is grieving someone who is going through it and I feel like this could even be a back and forth situation, meaning like, you know, because um, I'm really sensing here like a very codependent relationship. I feel like this is something to where, um, you know, this person mess up, you take them back. You know, it, it's it's one of these things, but I feel like you're trying your hardest to boss up and let this go, but it's not easy for you. You know, and it's it's so funny, you know, I was about to go to bed and something told me, hey, you need to do this reading, you know, because I'm feeling here that somebody is really, really going through it. And this is not an easy situation, but I'm here to tell you there is life after hurt. There is healing after feeling like no one, no one has you. There is healing after loss. Okay, there is redemption after loss. Okay, you will be okay. You know, even if you feel like this is not the situation right now, presently, it is so hard to let go of a situation. But let me tell you, it gets easier. It's harder to hold on than to let go. Believe me when I tell you this. Let's clarify the moon. But some, somebody here, and this is a message, this is not going to apply to all my Virgos, but I deeply feel rooted. I mean, I, I literally got up and it was like, I have to do this reading because I'm feeling something here in a connection with some of my Virgos here that someone is having a difficult time here, you know, releasing this energy, releasing this connection. You know, um, for some of you, there was some very bad tor turmoil here um in this connection and i'm feeling like you know you're not happy but you're still holding on clarify the moon clarify the moon clarify the moon thank you so much yep so we have for the moon here we have the four of swords and then we have the four of pentacles yeah because you're taking time to self-reflect you're taking time to figure things out we have the four of swords here on the board twice okay the four of pentacles is letting me know that right now you're being very protective of your energy you're figuring things out you know you're figuring and this we have the um king of cups here this is someone that that is very um you know, expressive of their emotions. But I feel like you're being very guarded when it comes to this connection. You're not wanting to express your emotions when it comes to this connection. I feel like this person has put you through it. And I know that you probably feel at this moment that there's no hope. There's no light at the end of the tunnel, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And the light at the end of the tunnel is you, okay? You are your own light. You know, when it comes to reading tarot or, or 
advising others of you know getting through certain particular situations that light comes is is within all of us you just have to tap into it and i'm here to tell you you will be okay let's clarify the seven of swords don't ever let a woman or a man make you feel like you don't deserve another opportunity or you don't deserve to be loved Everyone deserves to be loved in the right way. You know, sometimes we pick the people that we 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 allow people to gravitate to us based off of the energy that we are pushing out there, you know, and this is what's causing. Some people might feel like I'm always getting into these situations. Yep, the Empress. And this is what I'm seeing. Let's clarify a little further. I want to get one more card here for the Seven of Swords. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? Oh, preach. Preach. Oh my gosh, preach. We have the Seven of Swords. The Empress came out. And guess what came out after that? The Emperor. Because this person, okay, let me tell you. This person sees you. It's starting to see you in a new light. This person came in and deceived you. But I feel like... This connection is a very codependent connection. And I feel like this person's coming back in. This person's coming in because they don't want to give up on you. And I feel like now that you're, you've are you walked away or that you're shining in this new light, this person wants to make it happen. This person is starting to see you as a, how do I say it? Like, you know, a, a, a kindred spirit connection. I feel like this, you know, you can't make this stuff up. You have the empress that came out and then you have the um, the emperor. This person wants to come in and offer you stability. I feel like this was a, an imbalanced situation. They missed the fact that you were always there for them. They missed the fact that you always never gave. Look at the bottom of the deck here. We have the page of wands. We have the page of cups. We have the five of swords. We have the lovers. And then we have the moon at the bottom of the deck. This is letting me know this is someone that's want, wanting to come in and communicate with you. This person wants to come in and offer you love again. This person doesn't want to give up on this connection because they see this connection as a kindred connection. But at the end of the day, they don't know how to treat you. They don't know how to be honest with you. They don't know how to, you know, level up and be the person that you need them to be. Hence why we have the moon card here. And I feel like you're over it. The next card right after was the, the Hermit. Then we have the Seven of Wands thereafter. I feel like because you're very protective because you've, you've come into this, you know, energy of Ace of Swords. Oh, you can't say this anymore. This Ace of Swords energy. This was the next card. The Ace of Swords energy. You have gone through a breakthrough. I feel like you're now more enlightened than ever. If you're a person that have been taking this person back chance after chance after chance, hoping that they'll get it right, I feel like now you're more awakened more than ever. You know, you're letting this go. You're, you're deciding that you need to do what's best for yourself. And good for you, my Virgos, um, for, for those this situation applies to. Like I said, I was about to go to bed, but oh my goodness, I got up and I was like, I need to do this reading. Something was pushing me and I feel like it was divine saying, hey, you need to let this reading out. So we have the Ace of Wands clarifying the, um, the King of Pentacles. And I feel like someone's coming in, this person's coming back because they want to offer you a new beginning. But I also feel like this also reflects yourself. I feel like you're, you're having a new beginning because you're taking the time to self-reflect on yourself and you're bringing balance back into your own life. Okay, but I also feel like this person wants to come back and offer you and say that they've changed and they want to bring you some type of balance in this connection. All right, let's clarify with some um, advice here for my Virgos. What's the advice here for my Virgos? What's the advice here for my Virgos? Thank you so much. One more message. What's the advice here for my Virgos? Thank you so much. Okay. All right. And then let's see what we got. When you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm, no anxiety, no agitation. And this is what I'm what spirit is telling you. I feel like spirit is letting you know that this person might not be right for you. 
you're going to know, I mean, wholeheartedly, you know, sometimes people come into our lives to teach us lessons, but we hold on to them when they're only supposed to be a chapter in our lives. They're not meant to be a part of our story, but we make them a part of our story. And I think this is spirit letting you know, you are going to know when this person that comes into your life to love you the right way, you will know wholeheartedly. I don't feel like this connection's the right connection for you. I feel like this person was not valuing you the way that you should have been valued. You know, I feel like this person tells you what you need to hear. Then we have, according to Greek mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, and a head with two faces. Fearing their power, Zeus split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search of their other halves. And this is what I feel for you, my Virgos. I feel like, you know, you are in a space that, you know, you feel stuck in this connection or in this cycle, but I feel like you're getting through it. You know, slowly you are coming out of this a better version of yourself than you were the day before. But I also feel like, you know, you still are manifesting your soulmate into your life. Okay, let's go ahead and get some messages from the romance angels. And this is spirit telling you, you're going to have a new beginning. This is why we have the ace of wands clarifying. Oh, you can't make this stuff up, honey. Spirit is preaching through me. I'm telling you, I was about to go to bed, guys. <laughs> And something said, wake up, you got to deliver this message. All right, let's see what we got. We have released your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Yes, and I think that you are doing this. Let me tell you, you are beautiful. You are smart. You are funny. You are loving. Someone's going to come in and love every inch of you. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, okay? Let's go ahead and get some more messages here. We have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yes, I think there's a spirit letting you know. Don't let this bring you down. Don't close out, you know, opportunities because someone else didn't know how to love you the right way. Because if, if that's the case, you're going to miss out on someone loving you the right way. You know, so open up your heart to others as well. Don't let this close off. And it says engagement. Your love life is descending to a high level of commitment. So this could mean one of two things. This could be um, this past person coming back in because I do see them coming back in. Hence why we had the empress and we had the emperor clarifying the seven of swords. Okay, so I see that this person is coming back in and I feel like because this person sees you Focusing on yourself, taking time apart from yourself and working on your money and your coin and whatever it is that makes you happy outside of this connection. They're wanting to come back in and I think they're going to come back in with, the, you know, wanting to probably propose to you. But this could also mean, you know, this could be spirit letting you know that someone else is there's someone else in your favor here. You could be going to a higher commitment with a new love interest coming in your way. Okay. So let's go ahead and clarify here. We're going to get some advice from the uh, Monology Oracle deck. Something's coming in your way. And, you know, everyone has free will. So it's up to you. If you feel like this connection is worth working out, that's going to be completely up to you. But I see that this person has definitely hurt you multiple times. We have the devil on the board. We have the moon card on the board. We also had it at the bottom of the deck when we needed to clarify, you know, I feel like this person has put you into a situation where, you know, it, it, it made you very unhappy. We have the four of wands here as well, you know, at the bottom of the deck. Um, at the bottom of the deck, I want you to see this. It says confidence is your key to success. And like I said, I, I just said that. I feel like this person sees you shining bright. This is like Leo energy, but I feel like this person sees you shining bright here. I feel like... You know, this is a fire they're seeing within you, you know, because you're focusing on yourself and it's making you more attractive because you're focusing on yourself. It says your dreams need a practical plan, you know, so maybe this is spirit telling you, you know, while you're focusing on yourself, come up with a plan, come up with a strategy um, to, you know, what you want in life or what you're trying to get out of this connection or a future connection. 
Or this could be your person coming back in with a strategy and a plan to get you back. If that's what you're wanting, my Virgos, okay? Then we have, it's time to take action. Then, and I feel like this is more so towards your person. This person that you're dealing with is coming back in because they see you in this light, okay? They see you in this fire energy, you know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with someone, you know, in that chart. Or you could have fire in your chart. But they see you in this new light. So they're coming in and they're going to take action because they are realizing if they don't do something, they're going to lose you, okay? Well, my Virgos, I hope you enjoyed this message. Actually, you know what? I do want to give you one more message. I got a new deck here that I've been working with and blessing. So I do want to go in. You guys are the first to um, get this message. But I want to give you guys one more message because I'm telling you, I was literally laying down and I was like, you know what? I have to do this reading for my Virgos. You know, I, I just felt it. And I was like, I have to do this reading for my Virgos. So we are going to go in. This is the um, Sacred Vision Oracle deck. And we have Serenity. Okay. This is what we got, Serenity. And at the bottom of the deck, we got Patience. Okay. So it says here to close out your reading, my Virgos. It says... In divine light, you overflow with love. You carry the sacred arrows that teach you about the clouds so full of water that the rain comes like droplets of wisdom into your sea of consciousness and you begin to learn. The sacred flute carries your prayers of love and all the symbols of treasured peoples and dreams reflect upon you with the light of the great sun. You are a sacred lover full of fragrance and the wind comes to spread your perfume across the land. You stand before the great spirit in a state of grace. Name your darkness, the sad quality that you have held as you call it by name. Feel it begin to disappear. You hold on to your faith the same way that you grip your arrows of destiny. You are not meant to live in darkness, but in the light of your own integrity. Move with the flow of life and let go of any sadness from your earlier years. Be serene and at ease as the light begins to define you. Yes, yes, I felt that. It says the serenity, divine light. And I feel like this is spirit saying, even though you're going through this darkness, they are going to shine a light in your darkness. They are going to bring you what you desire in divine timing. Hence, we have the patience the bottom of the deck i want you guys to see the imagery work on this new deck it is beautiful okay this is coming from the um sacred vision oracle cards very very beautiful deck um but i felt like i just needed to do that added um message for you guys in this reading all right my virgos i hope you enjoyed this reading please comment subscribe um, don't forget to um, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. Thank you guys. Good night. Bye.